volume of cylinders. Here is our formula. It is area of the base times the height equals the volume. All right, the area of the base though, we've got to use the area for a circle. And the area of a circle is pi r squared. Don't forget, you have to square your radius before you multiply by pi. All right, let's try one. We have three for our radius, so it's going to be the area of our circle is going to be pi times three squared. So it equals pi times nine, and for pi, we are going to use 3.14. So we have 3.14 times 9, which equals 2826. 28.26 meters. That is the area of our base. It's the area of this top that you see right here. And you need to multiply that by the height because it is the area of the base times the height is our formula for volume and 28.26 times six equals 169.56 meters, and it is volume, so it is cubed. Make sure you label all volume problems as cubed. All right, let's try this problem. Our base is this circle side here. Our diameter is 10, so our radius is five. So the area of our circle equals pi times our radius, which is five squared. So the area of our circle is equal to pi times 25. Let's pull out our calculator. And we have 25 times 3.14 which equals 75.5, nope, 78.5. We're in inches, this is area, so it is squared, but we want to find the volume. We already have our volume. We really should read the instructions. Read the instructions first. All right, it says find the height. So if I have my volume, and now I know what my base is, still would have had to do this, had to know what my base is, I need to divide here. So if I have volume equals Area of the base times the height. I know that the area of my base is 78.5. So volume equals 78.5 times height, but my volume, I know what that is. It tells me right here that it's 314. So if I divide by 78.5, then it will give me the height of this cylinder. So I have 314 divided by 78.5, and that equals four. So my height equals four inches. It is not cubed, it's not squared, because it is just this distance. So you just label it inches.